hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to give you like a rough draft of how i cut my wedding gown so this is more like i say an overview i don't really know how to draw so nobody should shade me in the comment section okay thank you very much so this is more like an overview of how the gown is going to look it's an off shoulder gown it's a ball gown it has some i don't know side flared and it has some organs that are flowing down and it's going to be longer like it's going to be longer than the entire length of the gown so this is like the top part this is the bottom part then we have other accessories here and this one is organza so the main thing i want to show you guys here is how the bottom part will look so for the bottom the bottom is divided into three pieces the bottom is divided into three pieces three pieces that's let's call it the skirt part so we have this one which is the main piece okay we have this one which is the main piece then we have this one which is like the first lining first lining then we have this one which is the second the second lining so i just wanted to really clarify this before we go into the cutting of the gown so that by the time i start explaining you guys will not get confused so this is the first piece that's for the bottom part this is the first piece then it has two linings so this is the first lining and this is the second lining okay so that's what i wanted to clarify or oh, that is what i want to clarify i don't know the kind of english i'm speaking this morning that is what i want to clarify before we go into the video so if you if you're not yet subscribed to the family make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified let's go into the video okay yeah bye so starting up and starting off for the front part of the blouse and i'm just spreading my fabric out i'm going to cut the flared first so i'm going to cut the front part of the flared so you can see how i just folded it this is more like a so long video it's not like i'm doing a very detailed tutorial because i have like individual tutorials on this here on the channel so after folding it into a triangle i made i shaped out my waist you guys know that when it comes to flared the shape of the waist is circular then i took the length of my gown minus you know the length of the blouse i took the length of the flared you know across the entire fold you want to make sure that the fold is equal on one side that's the length of the gun is equal on one side you can see on all sides you can see what we have here look at the waist and this is the hem this is the end of the of the flared so after that i just went ahead to cut out my waist then i cut the bottom part you guys know the drill when it comes to cutting flares And just like that I've cut the front part of the wedding gown so after cutting the front part we are moving to the back part and what I did here was since the fabric the length of the fabric wasn't exactly enough so I couldn't like fold into two and get the back part so what I did was the front part still on the fold I stretched out the fabric and laid the front part on on the on another fabric you can see what I'm doing here and I just cut out the, the shape the outline that the front part has given to me but one thing you bear in mind if you're looking at this video you are, you realize that I left about 1.5 inch as my zip allowance you're not going to cut exactly as in the front and the back they must not be you know exact in width because we need the zip allowance for the back so which was what I did here So now this one I'm cutting is one piece. I know the back part of every gown, almost every gown, they're always into two pieces. So after using the front part to cut one piece of the back part, I folded it and I kept it aside because, you know, with wedding gowns, you have to be very careful <laughs> before you make a mistake because before, you know, you cut what you've cut before. Like one time I wanted to cut the, the front part of the flare again. So what you just do here is 
you spread out the fabric again then you lay that other piece of the back part lay it on the fabric and you cut the front part of the no, not cut the front part if i confuse you then you cut the other side of the back part do you guys understand you lay the piece you just cut on the fabric again and you cut the second side of the back part now when you are laying you want to take you know you want to make sure that you are laying it front to front that's the right side of the fabric they are both facing each other both right sides are facing each other and the back sides are you know they are the they are not facing each other i don't know how to explain this so anyway you guys can see what i'm doing so after carefully laying the second the first part of the of the back flared on the fabric i just went ahead to cut out my flared guys if you're not understanding what i'm saying just look just just look at what i'm doing because i don't know how to do this voiceover again i have a flu i have a headache i'm not feeling very well my head is just pounding i just want to push out this video because people want to kill me in my dm <laughs> okay so i just went ahead to trace out the outline and right now i have two pieces of the back part now if your fabric is enough you know you can give you the length you want you don't have to go through this vigorous process i went through for the back you just have to fold and cut once do you understand now after you know i told you guys i left one inch you know so now i'm using my ruler to draw out my zip allowance which is around 1.5 inches around like one inch 1.5 inch so which is what i drew out here and guys in this in this in this video you are going to see some patterns dropping in here and there because for this wedding gown for the top part and for some parts i drafted patterns so this is a flat pattern that i drafted and i just laid it on the fabric now this fabric is on a fold of four so i just laid the pattern on it and i cut out the outline i just cut out the flat cut out the shape that i wanted <laughs> So guys, I hope you've been watching other videos on this wedding series. I have about three videos. Just check the playlist called Wedding Diaries. You see about you see all the videos there. So check it out. So I cut four pieces of this: two main pieces for the outer and two for the lining of the main pieces. Now the next thing I went ahead to do because I wanted it to have this asymmetric look, I just went ahead to cut out you know some parts to make it to give this high low effect anyway i placed it the wrong way here but if you turn it the other way you see that this part you know was cut out from the top side yeah so the next thing i went ahead to do was to cut the blouse of this gown and guys i know you guys are going to be screaming have ah, always a tutorial for this hey i have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to draft a basic bustier this thing here is just a basic bustier it's just a bustier yeah with a princess that so i have a tutorial on how to draft a princess that bustier i have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bustier so you guys just check the link in the description box and you see how to you know draft a, a pattern like that and that was just how i came about this pattern here so for the blouse all i did was i laid the these are not shoulder blouse i laid the pattern on the fabric and i just cut through as you can see now what you want to take into what is the word is it is it cognizance let me not speak the english i don't know once you want to have at the back of your mind is this satin i will equally use the satin as a lining for this dress i did not use my line i used the lining for the down part but for the top part i used the satin as the lining again what this means is i cut two parts of each that means the center front two parts the center side two parts the center back two 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 the center sides two okay what it just means i don't know if i'm explaining right what it just means is i used my satin as a lining and i used the pattern to cut out the lining from the fabric okay not the main lining piece i use the fabric as the lining okay do you guys understand i just hope i'm not confusing you anymore so just look at what i'm doing guys right now i don't even know if i'm giving the best explanation but you understand you understand guys you understand anyways i went ahead to cut out the whole lining this is the back part you can see and this is the front part Oh, this is the back part i'm arranging it with the fabric so you see and this is the front part so after cutting the main piece i went ahead to cut the lining piece also with the pattern using the satin fabric okay so this is what we have here i wanted to give you guys a better view so you'd see how it's well laid now this is the lining okay that's that one i just showed you now is the lining for the top part 
of the dress that's the blouse part now we are moving over to cutting the lining for this gown and the same way we folded the the satin to cut the flare that was how that is how we folded the the lining to cut the flat and just same thing I did for the front that was what I also did for the back I marked out my waist I took the length of the of the flat across the entire length of the fabric I drew out my the, the curve and I went ahead to cut this video seems short but trust me the wedding gown took me almost a whole day to cut like I started in the morning and finished like late afternoon okay So after cutting this is what the front part looks like so guys the same way i cut the back part of the satin that's a flare that's the same way i'm going to cut you know the lining and i cut two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back because like i explained in the beginning this um, gown has two linings now this is the bustier this is a flared okay this is the lining and we have the side flare just remember this gown has two linings okay two linings don't forget that so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified do come back for more videos and i'll see you in my next bye